So you're trying to decide whether perforated plate or a wire mesh is best for your project. Well, which one is it? In this video, I'll explain everything you need to know to make the best decision. So stick around. Hi, I'm Andrew Kotlar, and the architectural design process is an extensive endeavor that must be well thought out and organized. And something you obviously need to consider is what material will best suit the project. Well, here at WS Tyler, we understand that quality materials are exactly what you need to take your architectural projects to greater heights. With over 120 years of experience working in the world of architectural design, we're here to help you select the best materials for your particular needs. So in this video, we'll give you some insight into what an architectural perforated plate is, what architectural mesh is, the cost of each material, and why you may want to use one over the other. Architectural perforated plate is a piece of steel, either galvanized or stainless, that has several punched out holes that create a sense of openness or even a pattern. These plates have an average thickness of an eighth, quarter, or a half inch and are often used for the panels of a facade. When it comes to smaller architectural projects, like uh, smaller than 10,000 square feet, the material used to create perforated plate panels is much cheaper than architectural mesh. On average, a perforated panel carries a price range of $5 to $10 per square foot. Also, the machinery needed to punch holes into the steel plating is very common, and there are thousands of facilities that have them at the ready. This means perforated plate panels have a lead time that's vastly shorter than architectural mesh. What makes the perforation so unique is that the holes can be punched at different sizes. Designers can use this to create a 2D image that translates through the entire project. The installation of perforated plate panels takes much longer than the installation of architectural mesh. Also, perforated panels have a lot of size limitations and as a result, they have to be placed into a framing system. So when you're installing these smaller panels, each piece must be mounted at each level of the mounting frame. This can be done by either welding the panel directly to the frame or mechanically fastening it to some sort of grid system that needs to be in place. So this means there's a lot more labor involved, which will factor into the cost of the project. Architectural wire mesh is simply a, a group of wires woven together to form a mesh blanket that is interlocked together. The thickness range of these wires is 2 millimeters to 6 millimeters on average and are woven in a specialized weaving loom. The weaving process used to weave architectural mesh is similar to how your favorite shirt is woven. The difference is your shirt is woven with fabric and mesh is woven with stainless steel wires. The beauty of using architectural mesh is that when it comes to large scale projects like projects ranging from 10,000 up to 100,000 square feet, you can have a continuous panel that covers the entire length of the project. And this makes insulation a breeze. And in terms of size limitations, architectural mesh has a huge advantage over perforated panels. So for example, you can request a roll of architectural mesh that's 10 feet wide and 125 feet tall, and this means there only has to be major attachments at the top and bottom of the roll. But when it comes to using perforated panels, this simply can't be done. In fact, there has to be some sort of framing system that has multiple layers in place in order to use perforated panels. So at a cost standpoint, this is where mesh has the upper hand. When the initial cost of architectural mesh may be greater, ranging anywhere from $20 to $35 per square foot, the installation and mounting of a large scale facade that uses perforated panels can become very costly. The biggest drawbacks of architectural mesh is that there's a limited amount of suppliers that supply it. The availability of looms equipped to weave mesh is far less than the machinery needed to produce perforated panels, which is why lead times and initial cost of the architectural mesh are greater than perforated panels. And this also plays into there not being a lot of designers that are familiar with architectural mesh, which can be intimidating. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn even more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kodlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.